Texture Packer is an amazing tool for putting a bunch of images or sprites into one sprite sheet. It's not free, but it's definitely worth paying for. So I'm gonna take the lasers that we rendered out in the last video and just drop them into this window. And here you can see, even though the image is quite wide, it's square, it recognized where the edges of the alpha is, and that way it kind of cropped it automatically. So right now you can see down here it says 13 not fitting sprites, and that's because each of these is 1024 by 1024, and so they're just too big to kind of fit in there. So over here in the settings, first make sure you're in the advanced settings down here. And in the scale here, we can start adding smaller values like 0 0.9, 0 0.8, and now you can see how they're packing together. And now looking at this, I realized that the black is baked in, there's no alpha. So hopping back to After Effects, I need to make sure in Render Settings, Composite Settings is set to Transparent. Now if we turn on the transparency here, now you can actually see where that alpha takes place. So I need to render this out again. And to replace images in here, you can just select all of these and hit delete. And then I'll grab the new lasers, and these should have alpha. Looks like they do. So now I can drop these in. And there we go, now you can see how they're packing a little bit nicer. And now that we have the alpha in there, it's actually able to pack these tighter because it knows where the edges of these images actually are when there's no more alpha that needs to be accounted for. So it looks like if I scale this down to 0.67, all of these fit really nicely on this one sheet. And you'll notice these are sideways, but if you export these with the Spark AR Studio preset, it'll make a JavaScript file to go along with it. And that way it knows what orientation all of these are supposed to be. So we'll do that right now. We'll set the data file name. and that automatically fills the texture name down here. So to preview this, we can select all these and then click Preview Anims. And you can switch to a black background to see it better. You can also change the frame rate with this little slider here. With these selected, you can also see the little dotted lines on the edges of each of these. And you can also select one at a time just by clicking out here. So when you're satisfied with your layout, you just click Publish Sprite Sheet. And it takes a quick second. And then it should just drop it wherever you set that file location. So now we have all these packed really nicely. And we have this tiny three kilobyte file to tell Spark how to interpret this. And we can still crush this image, so let's do that really quick. So now we have a tightly packed and compressed image of the laser animation. Next, we'll bring this into Spark and get it all set up.